Hello? Hello? Hi, thanks so much for calling back. This is Kenneth Allen. I'm calling for the Indiana State Drive and the National Police Support Fund. Uh, the call is recorded for quality assurance, okay? Okay. Sir, really quick, we're mailing out the envelopes in effort to unite American citizens to stand behind our police. We all agree that these officers risk their lives daily serving and protecting our communities. As a non-charitable 527 political organization, just wanted to make sure that we could get that out to you. And of course, hope that you can send back something small. Anything that you can send back is greatly appreciated, okay? Sure, sure, yeah. Ah, fantastic. Well, the top spots for the drive are 95, 75, and 55. Now, which one's comfortable for you? Um, what were those amounts again? Oh, I, I was just saying, uh, the top spots for the drive are 95, 75, and 55. Uh, which one's comfortable for you? Uh, 75 sounds good. And what's your name? Oh, this is Kenneth Allen. I'm calling for the Indiana State Drive and the National Police Support Fund. Okay. Um, now, let me just ask, are you 100% comfortable with that amount? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to donate to the police because they do such a good job protecting us. Great. Now all I need to do is just transfer you over to the records department so they can confirm your information and have you on your way. So please stay on the line. Okay. Hello, this is Casey Duce on the Verification Department. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing well, thank you. I was just talking with an officer, and he told me to, he was connecting me to you about a donation. Yes, that is correct. And how much did you promise to donate? Um, I, I think I said $75, yeah. $75, I mean, thank you very much. That is very generous of you, and your support is greatly appreciated. No, where, now, where exactly in Indiana, where does exactly does this money go now? Okay, it's used to drive change in law that needlessly put officers at risk, assemble the public behind issues concerning police officers and the respect and safety of American police officers, and exposing those who promote anti-police sentiment. Anti-police sentiment. Oh, um, and, and what state is this going to now? Um, this is a national organization. National organization. Because right, the officer said he was from Indiana. Right, this is the Indiana State Drive of the National Police Support Fund. Of the National Police Support Fund. Okay. All right, so what do I do? You going to send something out to me or what? Okay. Um, now, to process your pledge today, we do accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. Which one would you be using today? Um, hmm. Yeah, I just got off the phone with the police in Indiana. They said this is a scam. Yeah, I do apologize that you feel that way. Um, oh, no, it's not that but, I feel that way. It's what they said. This okay, is not um, how they raise money. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Right. This We're not for the Indiana police. Okay? Oh, so I was lied to. That's not. No, this is the Indiana State Drive of the National Police Support Fund. This is a national organization. We are not the Indiana State Police. We are not Indiana Sheriff's Department. We are not the Indiana Troopers. That's not that's not who this is. What's the name of your company? The National Police Support Fund. You need to stop smoking cigarettes because it's ruining your voice. Okay, well, I do apologize if you feel the way. I just have a cold. But no, you don't. You, sm you smoke that. them mob bros. Come on, what are you talking about? I actually do not. Okay. So you know that you're working for a scam company. You know this, right? Okay. That's actually not the case. Have you been on YouTube? I mean, I Have you been on YouTube and researched what you're doing? 
research on YouTube? Yeah, you need to go on YouTube, all right? And I want you to research police scam, all right? Your company gets hired out by scammers. You're doing the work of scammers. No police is getting this money whatsoever. It's not directly for the police. Listen, do you know the robocall that I just went through? Have you heard it yet? Did you hear no, the robocall? It, it, it responds to all your answers and questions and stuff. Did you know that? And it tells me that this is going directly to the Indiana State Police. You know, just look on YouTube. There's thousands of videos exactly what you're doing and proving you guys are scamming. Just go on YouTube. It's right there. You'll see it for your own eyes. Put in police donation scam. And you're going to hear colleagues just like you who don't know what they're doing. Or who they're working for. Do some research. Put in Kentucky police donation scam. There's one for you. That's one that just came off the top of my head. And you know what I did yesterday? There was Arlington, a Virginia scam that just went on too. So look it up, hon. Quit the butts. Stop smoking cigarettes. Have a great day. Yep, they don't know of a clue what they're doing. Don't have a clue. Hello. Hi, thanks so much for calling back. This is Kenneth Allen. I'm calling for the Indiana State Drive and the National Police Support Fund. Indiana State Drive for what? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Can, could you repeat that, please? I said the Indiana State Drive for what? Actually, the National Police Support Fund asked us to make these calls for them. National like Police Support I can't Fund? I give you a number to call. National Police okay. Support well, Fund, okay. Is, actually, this is a national program. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was just saying, as a non-charitable 527 political organization, just wanted to make sure that we could get that out to you. And, of course, hope that you can send back something small. Anything that you can send back is greatly appreciated, okay? And and where is the National Police Support Fund located? I'm actually located in Eatontown, New Jersey. Uh, if you'd like to find out more specifics about the drive, uh, I can give you a number you can call. Oh, all right. I'll okay. write this number down. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. The toll-free number is 1-866-487-4515. Okay. So can you help them out? Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Sure. Ah, fantastic. Well, the top spots for the drive are 95, 75, and 55. Uh, which one's comfortable for you? Um, 55 sounds good. Now, let me just ask, are you 100% comfortable with that amount? Yes. Great. Now all I need to do is just transfer you over to the records department so they can confirm your information and have you on your way. So please stay on the line. Uh, hold on just one second, please. Sure. Hi, this is Cindy Farmer in the Verifications Department. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, who have I reached now? This is the... My name... National Police Foundation? Who? National Police Support Fund, Indiana State Drive. National Support... National Police... Support fund. Okay, and you're out of where? It is out of uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Oh, you had to think twice about that? Well, yeah, because we call about so many different ones, I had to think about which one I'm calling that right now. So okay. my question today is to you, so today you're doing Indiana and you do other states too, correct? 
well, we do other programs. This is the National Police Support Fund, and then we do about five or six other calling. And some days it's one, and the next day it might be something else. So, yeah. Well, my other question is, are you a third-party um, fundraising uh, company yes, for we are them? Paid, we are paid fundraisers, yes. Paid fundraisers from National Police Support Fund in Alexandria, Virginia? No. Yes, hello. No, we are paid, paid fundraisers that were... Our company was hired by the National Police Support Fund to help okay. them with their calling. Okay. Um, yeah, because I was just on the phone with the National Police Support Fund, and they told me they're not making these phone calls, hon. Well, sir, you'll have to call their 800 number because I they, did. I they did. Are, somebody they are hired you. Hire somebody hired you under their name. Well, sir, the, um, the, uh, who did you speak to there? Um, I'm not at a liberty to discuss who I spoke to. Uh huh. Okay. Well, the okay. national, the president of the National Police Support Fund is Simon Lewis. You can find us on the web at nationalpolicesupportfund.com, oh, yeah. and you may call their toll-free number is one eight six six four eight seven four five one five. I did, I but I called into I called Indiana. They said they're not taking fundraising like this. They don't do this. Sir, sir this is part of the national program. Hmm. Right. And they, so go on YouTube and they, and look up police donation scam, and it'll show you exactly what you're doing. Well, sir, we're out of this organization. Is out of right. I'm reading uh, that too. Alexander I'm reading it right here on Google. Twenty eight hundred Eisenhower Park, Suite two twenty, in Alexandria, Virginia. I can read it too. Go well, on YouTube. You know more Go than on I, YouTube. I don't even have that information. Go on YouTube, and look up this. Look up the. I'm telling I you. I never go on up. YouTube. I never look on any anything on YouTube. Well, you I never need do. to because then you're going to see the truth. How about what this is all well, about? Well, sir, I, I'm just working for them, so have a nice... <laughs> okay, everybody, these guys are calling you. They don't have any information. They're just hired robots. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to call this uh fund right here national police support fund i have their i have their phone number here so i'm going to give them a call just to see what they have to say see what happens here A member of our team is not available at this time. If you have questions mm. about your fundraising pledge or to request a chargeback, please leave your name, contact phone number, pledge number, and a detailed message, and we will return your call promptly. Transfer to 1-866-487-4515. Well, that's their contact information. It says here, I know you can't see this, everybody. Um, maybe I can uh, get it. Oop, that's me. Get this to work. Okay, here we go. So this is the National Police. Let me move that out of the way. The National Police Fund Support. Now, I called this number right here, 571-364-6520, as you saw. Uh, let me go over here to the home. So this is their support. Do you support police? Sign the petition. 
This looks, National Police Support Fund is a grassroots political organization that is committed to aligning the interests and needs of police officers with the public issues and concern with the national political process. Our movement is compromised of tens of thousands of Americans from all walks of life who have joined together in their common respect and the rule of law and united in their support for the police officers who put their lives on the line every day in our community. Yes, uh, I believe in that. I believe in police, and I believe that there are many good police out there, and there are many bad cops out there, just as there's good people and bad people. Grasp and learn more about how America's Wildlife Life support police officers. We are dedicated to promoting the interest, latest news and blogs like a pretty interesting site here I'm not gonna start collect clicking on everything but as you see I did try to call what's this video let's see what this is there is a widespread anti-police movement sweeping through our great country and this rhetoric has been perpetuated by some politicians at the highest levels of our anti-police rhetoric hmm well like I said, I believe in police and we need them, but I see a lot of bad cops every day that are making cops look bad. And I think this is because we have video nowadays and we hold police accountable for everything they do. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there's a big movement on police. This is... Um, the other half trying to come down and say that we hate police, that there's all these police, police, bad police. Yeah, police are going to get killed. Police are going to get shot. But let me tell you, you have more chance of getting shot by a cop than getting hit by lightning, by getting hit by a terrorist, getting blown up. Um, yeah, there's so many different. So it goes both ways. So let's finish this. Our government. The National Police Support Fund was founded as a response to this anti-police crusade. We are a grassroots political organization that is... So in America now we have an anti-police crusade? Wow. See, this is, this is the, the rhetoric that's getting tossed around. So what, everybody hates police? No. People are starting to find out that police need to be held accountable for what goes on. Because whether you like it or not, you put that badge on, you're, you're someone, someone of authority and someone that needs to be looked up to. But some of these guys, they take, they take the badge a different way. And that's only a, a small, small percentage of police that are making the whole police look bad. So these guys are, this, this fund right here is really irking me right now, really bad. Collecting money, saying that they're from different states and shit. Come on. You got my Kentucky scam that I messed with the computer. I messed with them. You, they just hang up on you. All right, here we go. Let's finish this. Committed to aligning the interests and needs of police officers with the public's issues and concerns within the national political process. Our movement is comprised of tens of thousands of Americans from all walks of life who are joined together by their common respect for the rule of law and united in their support for the police officers who put their lives on the line every day in their communities. The National Police Support Fund is driven to restore a culture of respect for the American law enforcement community that has been eroded. Respect. Looking for respect for the law enforcement community. I'm sorry I keep stopping this video, but I have the highest respect, and I think most Americans have the highest respect for someone that puts on that badge and puts their body in front of bullets to save people or to do good things. Like I said, there's only a small percentage of police that are actually bad or actually have 
that kind of mentality to, I'm trying to find the right words, to violate civil rights and not be transparent and be selfish and conniving. A lot of stuff happens, but that's only a small, small, small percentage. And thank God we have video nowadays to weed out some of this stuff. Eroded by politicians and interest groups and hold these politicians accountable for promoting anti-police sentiment. Now they're saying that politicians are promoting anti-police sentiment. Wow, this, this group is a real bunch of fucking idiots. If anything's a scam, this this is a scam. This is a scam. It's it's like they're sitting there saying that raising money saying that we think police are bad. What the hell? Join our movement today. Uh I'm disgusted with this. And then they hire out a bunch of jokers to be on the other end of this stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tell me what you think, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.